welcome to today's Tuesday tip. Today's tip is just a reminder of something that you may want to cover before the holidays. The 4th of July is only two days away. Hopefully, you have already communicated with your residents about holiday issues and holiday safety. It's bound to happen that someone has an AC unit or a plumbing problem. So you have to have maintenance or whomever catches your after hour calls or emergency calls for the holiday to be prepared. Secondly, grilling. Different regions, states, counties, and cities will have different rules and sometimes it's as simple as what the landlord dictates. You may have grilling or non-grilling rules and policies at your property, but remind uh, the residents about grilling too close to the exteriors of your buildings and sidings and what to do with the hot ashes and coals. Also remind residents that they're responsible for their actions as well as the actions of their guests. The fourth is one of those holidays that people really celebrate and go all out and sometimes get a little crazy. Fireworks prevention. According to the statistics, the 4th of July is one of the largest holidays for fireworks. Many companies don't cover fireworks in their house rules. There was an incident last year where some kids were launching fireworks in the parking lot on the property and a rocket hit a toddler in the eye. I know you all don't want to have that happen. So if you don't have a policy on fireworks or where fireworks can be discharged, remind the residents about the safety issues. You can get plenty of them online. Noise control. A friendly reminder to your residents that everyone has the right to peaceful enjoyment of their property would certainly not be out of order for the 4th of July holiday. The stereo booming from the apartment across the street or next door or across the parking lot or even the boom, boom, boom from the joy riders that are entering and exiting your property can often be quite disturbing if a resident happens to work in the medical field and they didn't get the holiday off. They have to be at 5 a.m. at the hospital on their shift the day of the 4th and perhaps even the day after. These are just some of the friendly reminders based on resident complaints that we have received in the past after the 4th of July. Hopefully they will help you. Have a happy and safe holiday and we'll see you next time on Tuesday Tips. Did you like this video? Hit the like button below. Do you want to see more content just like this? Be sure to subscribe to all our social media platforms. And if you know someone who could really use this information, be sure to share it.